okay so right now we will learn on how to export or make our database and use it on our entity framework core as a model see so first you should have to have a database for this example we have this Shopee database with a table categories and stores like that okay so after you have that database you should go back to our Visual Studio code and install some 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 packages on our NuGet gallery so first is control shift P we'll go to the NuGet gallery and then we will install Microsoft that entity entity framework core this one install it first next one you successfully installed it next is you should have to download this Microsoft that entity framework or that design install the 5.01 version and next after that is install the Microsoft entity framework core that tools that dot net this one install this use the version 2.03 okay and lastly install the pomelo pomelo entity framework core that mysql and also install the 5.02 version okay after that we will go back to our that cs project that and then okay as of for our demo we will remove this one that one comment that out first and let's go back to here our do get gallery and we will find Microsoft that entity framework that tools dot dot net this one so we will install this again and wait for it to be installed okay after that we will go back here so as you can see it is that we've installed the 2.03 Microsoft Entity Framework tools then that just to, so to be able to use the cell I you need to replace this package reference as dot net dot net CLI CLI tools tool reference yeah like that so the same here so we'll remove this and then after you've changed that to that net CLI tool reference we will go back to the terminal and then type that net restore to restore all the packages so once successfully restored 
we will try to check if all of the packages are running so let's type dot net ef mm. okay so wait a minute okay so we store it again we forget to save the file that net restore okay and then that net ef again okay as long as you can see when you run the dot net ef and see that this ef unicorn logo displays on the cli tool or on the terminal and we are ready to go so let's try dot net ef help to view the other commands that on our disposal so we have this commands database to manage the database db context to manage the db context types something like that so right now that we have installed installed the uh, packages we will now try to make or to scaffold our database our model from our database here okay wait our database here on our local host php my admin okay so going back to vs code we will use this command dot sorry dot net ef we will use the entity framework core and then scaffold how oh, db context db context scaffold the scaffold and then we will have to can I specify the 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 server the database the root, uh, the user and the password of our database server so so for our server type server equals localhost host and then semicolon next is database database equals name of our database so our name of our database is shapi shapi and then semicolon again and the user so i've set the user as default so we use root and then for password so i didn't use any password so we'll type pwd equals and then empty so for the next parameter needed for the scaffold command is the provider so <coughs> so for our provider we use this pomelo pomelo entity framework so we will copy this pomelo that entity framework core that my sql copy then paste it next to our server information like that and then next we will gonna specify the output directory so dash o and then we will save it here in our models folder this one this folder model so we will type dash o and then dot backslash models models okay and then to force rewrite all the already scaffolded models so we will try to put dash f after that I'll run again click or press enter
and wait for the command to be finished Okay, so as you can see the command already finished and when you we will minimize this when you when you try to explore here in the model folder so entity framework core made us the context db db context and and then the table of our database so that is all on how to how to scaffold your databases on the using entity framework core so we will try to that net restore oh no that net build to build it okay so successfully build okay so that is all and also for for note as a reminder you should install first the dotnet web hosting runtime so we will go back here so we will so dotnet hosting runtime this uh, runtime is p.net core 2.0 runtime we boosting bundle installer so i will give a link on the description box for this link okay so that is all thank you